What's up everybody? Welcome to Frumpy Sweater Day. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are talking about a chocolate cake. No, this isn't the original container. Chocolate cake tea and the new very cool Lamy Safari. So everybody, this tea is awesome. Um, if you like sweet teas, this is actually part of the Easter range um, at David's Tea, which you can still purchase. Um, it is $8.50 per 50 grams worth of tea. And it actually has little tiny sprinkles and these little kind of ring looking dudes are actually like freeze dried like cake batter almost. It's I don't think it's actually cake batter, but it's like something of that consistency. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, it says to steep it for about four to seven minutes. I actually let this steep for probably like 10 minutes um, because I do find the flavor is a little bit weaker um, in this one. So that's why I let it steep super long. Um, and then I put just a hint of sugar in it if I want it to be like super sweet, like really, really chocolatey cake. Um, otherwise you can drink it just like black, normal. Um, and it's still sweet, but it's not like, whoa, sweet, you know? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> um, it's a medium caffeine level. So, you know, if you're super intolerant to caffeine, maybe don't go with this one. Um, and you just boil water reg as regular. Um, this is obviously not the tin it came in. I actually got mine in a 100 gram box that it came in. So I just kind of cut it out and taped it to an old tin that I have. Um, but chocolate cake is essentially very accurate as far as what you're going to be getting yourself into with that pen. Um, so if you dig chocolate cake, if you dig sweet desserty teas, um, check it out. If you're not a huge lover of it, then maybe just get like a small 50 gram one. Um, you know, don't go for the big, the big masses, but it could be cool to check out. I really like, like it. One thing I also really like is this pen. Guys, this is the Lamy Safari, uh, the 2016 limited edition dark lilac. Uh, I'm going to get you some close-ups over here, but this is really, really cool. Um, it has a very matte finish. So unlike the regular safaris that have this gloss, the new purple one, just like the um, charcoal black, has a very matte finish so it doesn't shine. Um, even though it's the same plastic, it just, it feels better in my hand. It feels less, I don't want to use the word cheap, <laughs> but essentially it feels less cheap. Um, I just, I really, really like this finish. Anyone is wondering, I probably won't ever do a video of the Lamy All-Star. And the reason why is because other than the material that this is made out of, all meaning aluminum, these are identical pens. This pen is a snap cap, so basically just snap it on and it pushes to post. Fits very well in my hand. Um, I don't post mine. I mean, if you follow me for a while, you probably know that, so I don't. Um, but it fits well, posted or unposted. Feels balanced, posted or unposted. Um, if you have larger hands, you probably want that, but um, you probably want to post it. Um, but you definitely don't have to. The dark lilac comes with a black trim. Um, so instead of the regular silver trim, you get the black nibs here. God, this camera kind of sucks. Anyways, um, so you get totally blacked out, which is really cool. Um, and same with the trim on the clips. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the positives to this, other than the fact that, like I said, the material I love, the color I love. I like the fact that the finial and the, you know, trim, the clip, everything is black. Um, I like that it's a snap cap, but it's pushed to post. I don't have an issue with the triangle grip shape. Uh, kind of has these two flat spots right here, and then it's completely rounded on the bottom so that your pointer finger and your thumb can go on those flat spots, and your middle finger will sit on the rounded part. 
I don't have a problem with that. My fingers fit perfectly into this grip. Some people have a serious hate on for that grip. Um, so this is a bit of a, a polarizing pen in that sense. Um, some people love the grip, some people hate it. I like that it's plastic and I like that it's very large. Um, so your hand doesn't get sweaty, it doesn't slide down, and even if it does, it widens slightly at the end so that your fingers will stop. They're not going to just keep going right on to the nib. Um, so to me, that's not a negative, but I can see it being a negative for some other people. The Something that I do see that could be a negative for this is that Lamy does take proprietary cartridges and converters. I happen to have a cartridge in here right now, um, which is very rare for me. I normally don't use cartridges, but I wanted to check out the um, Lamy Dark Lilac ink, but get more than just a two milliliter sample worth. Um, and I gotta say, I'm loving the ink. I really, really am. It's not quite as dark as the um, pen, but you'll see in the writing sample um, what it's like. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say other than what I already have about this. I really am, am very happy with how this turned out. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, like I said, I love the finish. I like the way it feels. Um, it doesn't dry out in the, the cap. It does post well. I'm not worried about it breaking. Um, it's just, it's pretty solid. Um, slightly on the dry side, but I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more and, uh, you know, when we get into the writing sample. So let's do it. I'm very impressed with this nib. I'm very, very impressed. It's very, very smooth. Um, I only have an, an extra fine and a fine uh, and a 1.1 of the um, Lamy nibs. All of them are smooth, but this one just, it just seems to really settle in and I, I really enjoy that. One thing I will say I've noticed with this pen and the ink is you can see on the T, you can actually see a little bit of the gold, gold sheen that you'll get from this ink, which is really something else. Um, when the first couple letters that you write are going to be a lot uh, more like wet than the rest, but this is pretty darn accurate towards what you'll see. In real life, it's ever so slightly darker um, than what's showing up in the video, but it's pretty spot on. Um, and this is Clairefontaine paper. Um, like I said, it's very smooth. Um, doesn't matter if you're going up, down, sideways. It performs really, really well. Um, you can definitely reverse write if you need to get a super fine line. It's slightly scratchy, but even then it's it's pretty darn good, guys. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, if I kind of do the old squiggle, it's definitely a wetter ink. Um, Canada, you guys have this a little bit before the States, um, which is why I wanted to get this video out ASAP um, so that we can kind of let Americans let them know, you know, what we've been experiencing so far. And that is with this pen and ink combo, um, myself and a lot of people, if you check out my Instagram, pens and tea, um, have been saying that they've been noticing that it seems a little bit wetter um, than the original Lamy Safari. These pens are typically known for being dry writers, um, with the exception of my 1.1. That, that one puts down a lot of ink, but it's also stub. Um, so, you know, they're known for being drier writers, but this one's pretty darn good. Um, and you know what? It just, it's perfect. Most of the time, if it skips, like I had a little one here, it's because I actually take my hand off the paper. Um, I have ne haven't had an issue with it whatsoever. Um, and I mean, you can see, well, sort of in the light if I catch it just right. It really does pull out, which for this ink in particular is brilliant because like I said, you get a little bit of a gold sheen. Um, so everybody, if you're thinking about getting it, I would recommend doing it. Um, it'll be around for probably a year, possibly more. Um, sometimes Lamy will take their special editions and make them regular editions if they sell well enough. And based on the reaction of what's come out so far and the reaction of the people still waiting, I think this will definitely sell quickly. Um, but guys, that's enough for me today. 
Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up uh, button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't be afraid to leave them down below. I do answer them all. And if you want to see every video I put out every Monday, every Friday, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.